Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. It's been way too long since we did some city pop on the channel. So we're going to do it. Junko Yagami. This is Bay City. I'm excited. Let's go. We'll get to her verse in a second. Man, this is so smooth. It's got that funky city pop laid back pocket playing vibe. Let's talk about why though. But first, I love the little quick drum introduction. Check out Kadoom to Kuba. And we are in on the groove and it's got that throwback drum sound too. That's cool. Okay, so what makes that pocket play? What makes the groove? Well, the drummer comes in, we're instantly laying it down, and the bass is pretty spatial. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. It allows for a lot of the stuff to be on top of it. Let's hear it again. Yeah, man. That's wide open because on top of it, we got the synth layer going on, the big legato ooh on, the voice happening. And then you got, it feels like, hold on, a couple guitar lines. I'm not totally sure. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. You get the comping line for sure, but the other ones, the, the call and response stuff, like little soloistic ideas, um, th that could be guitar and that could also be keyboard patches too. Like it, it's just, it's all that kind of like funky sound. So anyway, we have stacked that. It sounds great. It puts you in a mood because the moment you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, okay, this is cool. We're, we're with it. We'll let it happen again and we'll get into the verse. Here we go. So what a what a change, man! The voice comes in and she sounds beautiful. Uh, the biggest difference, actually, I'll play for you one more time. We'll do like five seconds of the first verse. Listen down to the rhythm section. What's the biggest change that you hear? Can you hear that? The bass player is playing way longer now. Boom, doom, boom, longer notes. Before it was boom, boom, boom. But they're like, it's not a slap and a pop. They're just playing more over the pickup. And we have a much more aggressive articulation on the right hand here. But it changes everything. It's a minute position change where you're playing over the pickups and how you're playing with your fingers. But it affects so much, though. This is why music is so cool, man. I love musicians and all the creative things that go on. But listen how this drives the verse, though. Because the, Sorry, the groove is still there. But the bassist making that change does so much when the vocals come in. Sending a little slap funky bass on right there. Ooh, but a bump bump. The little, ah, oh, the descending part of the guitar. That's a nice little music conversation going on in strings, supporting voice right there. That, is, oh, man, this is why I like this music so much. of that is so much pocket playing between the drummer and the guitarist just laying down that so 
it's it's cool because I'm sure you noticed the bass went being back to spatial compared to the section we just heard before, but it opens up so much. And I mean, it's not like it was super closed. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying it really allows the, the downstairs to be funky and very danceable while the voice comes in and you can still hear her beautifully in the mix. And it just all it just all fits in the pocket. Let's keep going. Gorgeous. I, I like the ascension of the, the ooh ahs there. That's a nice little harmony. I want that again. Simple additions make it so musical. I love it. chorus there uh, that was beautiful did you now it's not much it's not much of a change but if you listen down to the guitarist they just increase the intensity on the comping a little bit and it really pushes where the the vocals kind of i mean I, I feel like it just this is a dumb thing to say it, it sounds very chorus like that doesn't make any sense right musically but just in this instance it does i guess i don't know that might be a really dumb thing to say but if just listen to the relationship between guitarist and vocals here <laughs> It just feels different to me that makes it have that feel. And granted, the bass player is playing long again, and we have some, you know, the different articulation styles. Horns come in. We have callback voices as well. But I'm just, like, hyper-focused on guitar and uh, voice. Let's keep going, though. I'm talking about sorry I, I spoke over that I, I apologize for talking there let's get this transition because ensemble writing is good writing ensemble meaning writing for the whole band there because that that horn hit was pretty heavy to bring us into this next section <laughs> the dip in that okay so variety i always say you know what it is variety is the spice of life little things man because we talked about you know basically the structure at the beginning a little bit on verse versus chorus and then we got that repeated basically again until the end we had that big hit on the end of four then the horn line came in and now there's just little things that are throwing this i'm gonna go back 10 seconds just getting little differences but they make it super interesting <laughs> Cool. <laughs> 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 
whoa, my whole body's tingling. We don't write music like that anymore, do we? Oh my God, that key change is ridiculous. Let's go. The whole band is hot right there. The whole band is hot right there. That's 303. We're going back to 245. Yeah, this is the most replayed section. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, what's cool about this is because it's a chart, man. We're not just playing through it and then suddenly it's not hokey. You know, like, sorry, I'm not trying to offend like modern like musicians and stuff, but like a lot of time, there's not a lot of thoughts going on and we, we've we lost. I think people figured out that over time, if you take stuff away, uh, people don't talk about it too much and then they just don't know what they don't have because it's a little bit over time we've lost stuff musically in our arrangements and what has become like super popular when you hear something like this though like there's so much going on the chord progression underneath that chord change was great and then her delivery on it and just sticking that note and going oh it's just beautiful <laughs> fed out so let me know what you think about it that's uh we need more i gotta listen to more and you know i just when you hear stuff like this it's just like dang man it just makes me want i would love man if there was a gig right now they're like hey i need to play bass in this band i'm in just sign me up if the vocalist sounds like that my lord because real singing real singing always wins <laughs> real singing always wins man it's it's good stuff that was a lot of fun that's probably one of the better uh like i don't know if we i mean I know it's like city pop, but was this considered like, you got to educate me. Was this considered like J pop in its day? I, I would have to assume that it was one of the cooler, like key changes in a pop related song because it was happening, man. Like it's, I'm sure someone sketched out the chord changes underneath. It was, it was pretty cool. But you know, on the first time I listened, my ears don't hear that. And uh, I really dig the loud dynamic vibrato that was going on too. That was cool. Anyway, there it is. Let me know what else from her I should be listening to, please, and thank you. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me on live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.